Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make another one pot dish. It seems to be quite uh, popular. Now, um, so first of all, I'm going to make some uh, prawn stock. Okay. And then I'm going to add in some base uh, vegetable. Yeah, Chinese. Chinese. I use Chinese uh, cabbage here. You can use any veggie you like. I have some leftover mushroom with me, some uh, oyster mushroom and uh, white mushroom. And I'm going to put in two uh, tofu. And I have some, um, uh, this is barramundi fish head, chopped barramundi fish head and deep fried. Um, because my family, uh, besides me, they are not, uh, they are not so uh, good in eating uh, fish head. So I'm actually going to add one uh, small thread fin fish inside which i already i also uh, deep fry it for the bit and just to give it a bit more variation i'm adding some prawns at the end okay so let's start cooking all right first of all we are going to make some prawn stock actually this prawn stock can be used for many things so i'll let, i'll add in some oil inside in a cold pot and slowly let the the temperature go up and I'm putting few slices of ginger here this will actually get rid of some of the get rid of some of the unwanted uh, smelliness yeah away from the prawns prawn shell sorry okay these prawn shells are actually the prawns I have removed I've used the prawn previously and actually kept them into in my freezer okay and when it is necessary you can you can take it out and do a uh, prawn I use them to make a prawn stock like what I'm doing right now. Okay. So first of all, you want uh, you want to uh, let your ginger to infuse its flavor into the oil. Okay. When it's hot enough, you can actually put in your prawn shell, but be very careful. It will actually splatter, especially when it contains. Uh, the the eyes yeah the eyeball and some water inside so be careful when you throw throw this how to save yourself I mean uh, avoid being uh, safe, uh, splattering too much uh, use a bigger wall or use a bigger pot that will save you okay so never throw away your prawn shell okay after peeling off it will make some very uh, nice uh, prawn uh, broth. I'm using high heat right now. Uh, so what we want to do right now is to bring out the fragrance of the prawn shelf using high heat. And you need to uh, saute it until all of the prawn shell is fully cooked. Because why? If it's not fully cooked, uh, then it may actually make your prawn broth become very uh, fishy yeah you can give it a little bit more oil sometimes i will actually use uh, make a prawn oil out of prawn shell first then only i make the soup did you see will you be able to see the uh, the oil here actually started to turn orangey can you see from here Okay. Let it uh, let it saute for two three minutes. Okay. This is after about two three minutes sauteing. Uh, all the prawn shell has become a uh, orangey color and it's very very fragrant right now. I actually toned down my heat a little bit because uh, I I it's not a good idea to use too high heat on your. Uh, cast iron pot okay okay now is the time where we can actually add in some hot water mm -hmm. and I have some pork broth I can also I will also add it in
okay so I'm going to bring it to a boil and let it boil in for a couple of minutes then our prawn broth the soup base is done okay we'll come back shortly okay I've let my uh, prawn shell to cook uh, in the stock for a few minutes I'm not sure if you can see the orangey oil coming up and my soup is actually turning orange yeah this is what we call a perfect prawn broth now we can actually use a sieve to uh, remove the prawn shell and these prawn shells they have done their duty okay so we say thank you to them and we can remove them they are of no use to us right now they have done their part very very nicely Okay, so this is actually a very seafood flavoured um, soup. Alright. So now we can actually start putting in our ingredients. So I have some veggie here. You can use any any veggie you like, okay? It's up to you. And I'm going to put in, after the veggie, I'm going to put in my uh, fish head. This fish is about 3.5 kg, yeah? This, is, this fish head is actually quite big. It's always a good idea for you to deep fry the fish head before you want to cook them uh, in any other ways, okay? Because it will really bring out a very nice fragrance. And let me see. I'm gonna put in my uh, mushrooms. Okay. I'm going to put in my tofu and not forgetting my trap fin fish later everything will be cooked by the steam itself alright so you don't worry about the flavoring later I will add in the prawns uh, 3 minutes before I want to serve because it will only take about 3 minutes for the prawns to be cooked. I don't want to overcook my prawn. Okay, so we can uh, actually close it and let it, uh, let it cook. Let it cook under medium high heat for about 10 minutes. Um, what you're seeing right here, I'm actually using a cast iron pot so the the good thing about cast iron pot is it will the the heat retention is very high it's very good and it has very it has a very uh, heavy uh, lid where you can actually after you cover you will actually create some kind of a pressurized environment inside inside the pot itself so uh, you will actually make the soup to really go into your your um, your ingredient and it will actually make uh, the flavor to go into your ingredient better and it will also uh, make your ingredient to cook in, uh, faster okay so let's come back a few minutes uh, about 10 minutes later so this is after simmering under medium high heat for seven minutes Woo! look at the very nice juices coming up I need to show you the color of my soup. See? Beautiful milky color right now. It's all the very nice uh, nutrients, yeah, coming out from uh, everything, all the from all the ingredients I have shown here. And uh, let's quickly do a bit of seasoning. I'm going to give it some pinch of salt. Followed by a bit of sugar.
and I'm going to give it some light soya sauce some fish sauce okay about one tablespoon and let's give it some rice wine optional okay I'm giving some Shaoxing, uh, Shaoxing wine here because everything here is seafood so uh, the rice wine will actually help to uh, remove the fishiness and of course some uh, white pepper okay and now I'm going to put in my last ingredient which is the prawn all right and let's cover it and let it cook for another three minutes or so this is after the final three minutes my prawn should be cooked let's see Ooh. can you see clearly it's beautiful i'm off the fire right now and you can see the beautiful color of my broth yeah my soup here so in this dish you have uh, you have fish you have prawn you have tofu you have mushroom you have vegeta vegetables okay and the, the, the and you have soup the soup is very very uh, nature sweet right now okay and i'm just going to do some uh, final garnishing okay give it a, a tinge of garlic oil all right and some green onion spring onion okay and a few more dash of white pepper there you go okay here's my one pot dish uh pot uh one pot dish prawn how do i call this uh prawn broth prawn broth uh, fish head okay so if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking up our facebook fan page to click above the like and follow button um subscribe to cooking up our youtube channel and don't forget to press the little uh, bell which is the notification button and follow up on instagram just in case any of you wonder how to know whether the tofu is cooked or not check out the size if it's already expanding meaning it is already cooked all right so i hope you enjoy your dinner with your loved ones Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.